Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 3, episode 30. Oh. We've actually gotten that far? Yeah, we, and we have gotten Jeez. that far. Oh, and it's good that we started with Gourmet Race. Awesome. We were helping Kagami Mochi find uh, meat cutting. It's an orange. This is pretty, uh, this isn't really all that complicated, but uh, you just gotta take coup, and then get to the end of one certain room, and then go through some error currents, and then there you go. Okay, can I just say I love the detail of all the friends being blown back by the wind, and you have to, like, catch them. Mm -hmm. oh. Physics. Why is this game they so put charming? physics in there. Oh, God. H how is this game so charming? I know, like, even after all the transgressions and the problems that we have, it just finds a way to get better. It's like, oh god, remember all that fucking white? Well, alright, smart guy, here's some blues and some purples and some, uh, nice, uh, nice cool, cold colors. It's almost like you're in a hailstorm, almost. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is beautiful! It's like we're in Cloudy Park, but we're going through more than one different weather pattern. I think I think we're even in a storm right now, a tornado it seems, I think. Uh, I saw the the map screen correctly. That's awesome! Oh god, why can't more games do stuff like this? It it really feels like an adventure. It's a land of dreams and Kirby's there and all those friends are there. And there's fire! <laughs> Yeah, we can't forget setting the owl on fire. We're setting Kirby on fire, really. Oh, yeah, we are! I didn't even notice. So Which means that, uh, Ku is flying Kirby so fast into the ground that he is burning in the atmosphere. Oh my god, Kirby, how are you still alive? But you survived worse, I guess. So, uh, when you hit the Paracel boss, you know that you're getting close. Make sure you gotta keep Ku at this point. So, all right, this seems pretty easy. All we got to do is just uh, defeat this parasol boss. A little shitty that uh, we didn't keep the fire ability, but that, I don't think it was going to help us too much anyway. You're going to die, aren't you? No, we're, we're, we're going to be fine. But we're only limited now to whenever he decides to throw his clog at us. Hmm, okay. All other times he's going to be doing this uh, twirly bird thingy. Yeah. So, is this like a, a demon in Japanese culture? Because I remember yeah, fighting something close to this in Goemon's Great Adventure, or one of the Goemons we did. Yeah, it was Goemon. Well, I think it was both of them, but uh, definitely Goemon's Great Adventure. Uh, I forget which yokai it is, but uh, I'm gonna cut away real quick so that way pop, uh, post me can explain what this is. Thank you. That was very, very factual. Yes, very enlightening. I feel like I, uh, got some conversational humor whenever, uh, my dad comes to visit in town. <laughs> you just like, tell him about know? different yokai? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's close. Come on, throw your clogs. No! Uh... Ah, well, he'll, he'll throw it eventually. Uh, now we just need an insert from Goemon's Great Adventure or Gambare Goemon, whichever one we did. I can never remember. I want to play those again. I've been thinking about maybe uh, picking them up again, maybe for the five-year anniversary. Mm. Which I think already came and went. Oh, so, yeah, it, oh, well. it already came and went. <laughs> I was just looking at that the other day. I was like, when did I post my first video? Oh, it was like three months ago. <laughs> Four months ago. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, oh, well. It's just a number, yeah. Maybe I'll do it for the 10th anniversary. Yeah, there we go. We'll probably forget that, too. But you know what? This is the thought that counts. It happened. Welcome to the 10-year anniversary and three-month anniversary of <laughs> I think I even did that for my 100th episode review, where it turned out to be the 103rd, just because I was doing something else, and I was like, oh, shit, I, I passed 100. Oops. Throw your shoe! Come on! 
throw it! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, just give me a yokai watch. I'll do it. I'll make him throw a shoe. Come on! I, I've never played yokai watch, and I refuse to. Why? It seems... not my cup of tea. Well, because you're older. I, I, I'm far older, but here I am. I'm probably going to go pick up the new Pokemon game day one. Exactly, and that's the... It's kind of the rub there. It's not a Pokemon competitor. It just wants to be in the same cool kids crowd. And you know what? For They're... that, I, I can give it that. Yeah, did I ever tell you about uh, the one time I uh, peeked in on a on Christmas store like a, like a year or two ago? No. Uh, they had, like, an entire wall... Full, like, like, like this is like uh, the day after Christmas, like, like, like the 26th to 27th, and um, they had uh, an entire wall full of yokai watch stuff, and gone from the shelves were all the Pokemon things. Yeah, it didn't do too well in the states, which is kind of disappointing because it's a pretty solid game and a solid show. Gotta catch them all, bitch! Yeah. Tamagotchi, Digimon, Beyblades. Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! All just trophies on the shelf! <laughs> yeah, uh, Pokemon is not dying anytime soon. Oh, th oh god, one more <laughs> hit! Come on! <laughs> well, actually, uh, speaking of that- Oh, kill him! Never mind! Yes! Who cares what I had to say, it doesn't matter. I thought that was gonna take another ten years or so. Jesus! And... Ugh, can't get him. Ugh. What? Yeah. That was it? Yeah, that was me cutting. So why'd you need Koo? Because you can't get him without him. Oh, it's because of the current. Yes. Oh, okay. It's right there, just out of reach. You'll never be able to get him without without the strong wings of Koo. That's so mean. And without prior knowledge, you gotta fight the yokai again! Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Aww. Alright, well things are definitely gonna simmer down now. That was about, uh... Everything we done was about the toughest that this level's gonna get. Everything's gonna be a bit easier now. Well, the next level's gonna be tricky, but... If you know what you're doing, it's really, really easy. Oh, we were in a tornado. This is Pick. Eh, excuse me, can you please not shout obscenities here? Pick! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, okay. Piku! So, what does Piku do? Pick is, uh, girlfriend of Rick. Oh, I forgot this is a... This is a family slash lover level. Pick is a fan of Rick. Or fangirl. Because here's Rick, first one we gotta get, and... Already, you know it's gonna be a little bit crazy because, uh, well, uh... <laughs> god. Yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Oh my god. We got plenty of platforming too, don't we? Yep, bottomless pits, those are death. Not, not only that, gigantic <gasps> pillars too. But luckily you can climb on walls. So... Ah! Ah! Rick, no! Oh, God. Oh, dear. Well, Back he's gone. So that's soft reset. That was the second soft reset you've had to do in this world. Oh, just because I didn't feel like cutting it out. It just, it's, uh, this is called padding, good sir. Well, why would you want to include padding? Because, uh, um, uh, has Reservate taught you nothing? No, apparently not. <laughs> Hang on, I got a phone call. Yeah, hello? Yeah, this is me. All right, I'll let him know. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah, you have a good day, too. Goodbye! <laughs> I think probably one of my favorite episodes is the Let's Player that invited a friend and his friend was just shitting on him the entire time. 
<laughs> Isn't that what we do, though? No, no, we do it with a with a little like case of haha. I'm only joking, and you can tell. And because no, we've been friends for like ten years. Yeah, and that was like like strict hatred. It's like, yeah, I'll just I'll just invite another YouTuber over. It'll be great. God, you suck at this game. It's like, oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I'm, uh, I, I like all the nice YouTubers that wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> True. See, FaZe Banks would do that shit. Odds one out? Probably not. Oni plays? So ne never. <laughs> Game Grumps all the time. <laughs> but it but comes, again, in, it in that comes whole with the territory, of, yeah. yeah. That was, that's tricky, you gotta wait for that. Now, now here, we create <laughs> yeah, Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> oh, screw this! <laughs> oh, oh, you got enough health there, buddy? Make sure you got it right. Yeah, yeah screw this! God! <laughs> oh, is this girl worth it, Rick? She sounds like a real pick! Prick. Oh, so Damn it, I got it wrong. Shit. Ah, uh, who cares? So, uh, now, uh, we got a little bit of Leap of Faith gameplay going oh, on now. Oh, fuck you! But, That's not but, nice. uh, but it's it's okay. It's the okay kind of leap of faith gameplay huh. because where you land, you're gonna just be ready to to jump on the walls. It's like, hey, where do you go? Well, I don't know. Let's make a running jump. Go for it! And hey, and now they're gonna put these spinning things on here to take a few <laughs> more hits off of you. So, be uh, careful. Put up. Okay. <laughs> you do the same thing I do, where you just, you try your best to go left and right in order to just equalize yourself out. It's just, no, 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 okay. It's called momentum. You still got it going. Your kinetic energy <laughs> is still going. <laughs> and yeah, we made it. Made it. Whew, we made it. Aww. What the fuck are you doing in the sky? <laughs> Why is a hamster in the sky? I could just see Rick saying that. You gotta give it some Australian twang, but yeah, I could definitely see Rick doing that. What you doing in the sky, mate? <laughs> yes. Get down there, you crazy little dingo! What the fuck are you doing up here? I think All right. I changed like three different accents, but who cares? Well, uh, this is an interesting level. We're in the sky again, but it's like a cloud palace full of drawings on the wall. All oh, those are drawings! I thought they were, like, frozen in time. Yeah, wouldn't it be crazy if they came to life? Anyway, uh, moving on. Ha ha ha! They're not. Here we got a little magic dude who likes to... Oh! Yeah, that's neat. Oh! Hmm! And, yeah. That's a magical shenanigans going on in this... Castle? Palace? What would you call this? Uh, I'd, I'd call it a palace. Okay. If it's if it's big and ornate like this, it's it's palace worthy. All right, let's pick a friend. Oh. Who can we choose? Let's see. Uh, so we know which uh, door to go with. So uh, now we can figure out which door to go with here. So uh, let's see. I gotta go with my boy Nago as always. Well. There's five doors here, so that's probably the exit over there, I'm, I'm willing to guess. Uh-huh. What's up, my cat boy? Five doors, three friends. That means that the one on the far right over here has got to be the exit. Oh, I forgot Nago's huge. Yeah, all your friends are huge, except for Pitch. He's a shrimp. <laughs> The entire time, whenever we've seen Pidge, I keep thinking, Pidge. That has to no! be his name, is Pidge. No, it's, it's not. Pitch. It's Pitch! Like, ha, uh, Pitch! Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get it at the end of the series when it doesn't even matter. So check it. This is HB007. Whoa. It's kind of like uh, HB002 from Stage 2, but the way he's positioned is a bit strange. Yeah. We can gather that we have to do, uh, do a dude, another shape dude. like thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't die. Yeah. Don't die. Alright. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, uh. Oh. The trick here is a little bit, uh, you gotta do one of 
dick and uh, uh, and uh, one of those and uh, one uh, just right there we go. Hit that back over here. Just, okay, well, I need this one up here. Oh, no, this one up here. Just, okay, so, do you have to and, turn him right side up? And, got it. Wait. Nope. Yeah. Got it. <gasps> oh, you do? You gotta turn him right side up. Oh, that's cool. And you gotta figure out how to... Well, alright. Alrighty. Well, you served your purpose there, uh, Nago, so good job. Oh, God, that's my nightmare. Running over pits while spiders fall on me. <laughs> Duh. All right, I I'm a little uh, shaky on what the correct door is. I uh, hope I get it right. I'm just going to say uh, this one. Just a guess, I swear. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was right. And it's wrong as to death! <laughs> so some extra powers, some extra doors, and some extra goodies in there. Hmm. And at a free one-up, that's, like, probably one of the easiest ones to get. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's just all bonuses, just because. Uh, one more of these rooms. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. It's like one of the first rooms we went into. Yeah! Oh, look at that! See, this is how symmetry works better, not like how it did in Dark Castle, where it's just the same level again, pretty much. In Dream Land 2. That's cool! Yeah. So all these, all these drawings are coming to life, how strange. Like, they look even more like crayon drawings than the graphics do. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I was just a little, I was just a little goofy there. <laughs> Thanks for turning me right side up, buddy. I like that. It's like we went through the entire palace. One side was wrong, and the other side was right. Mm-hmm. Turned it right side up. That's and symmetry. Now? And now we're fighting Ado. Ado. <gasps> oh, it's the artist. Not, uh, some people think that Ado and Adeline are different people because uh, they look kind of different, but they're like artists or whatever. And <laughs> it, 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 it's the artist. We're gonna see him. We're gonna see her again in Kirby's Dreamland, uh, Kirby 64. I mean. So uh, the first boss here is a familiar face. It's the Ice Dragon from Kirby's Dreamland 2. Now dead. I I love that. I get so mad when their creations are destroyed, but just look at that! That looks so cool! It looks like a crayon drawing! The anglerfish from Dreamland 2, I think? I think, I think a lot of these are from Dreamland 2. It would make sense. Yeah, yeah all of them are from Dreamland 2. Because, well, we could make more levels, but uh, that, make, that means a lot more... Uh, levels and a whole lot more shitty minigames, so I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah. <laughs> Ten points! Perfect! Yes! Woo! Swing and a miss! Field goal! Three points! And now the ultimate... Oh my gosh, Mr. Sun and Mr. Moon. Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Yeah, that one. Or, uh... Mr. Orange and Mr. Lemon. Yeah, that's actually what it looks like. Because it looks like a, a, a very shiny orange and a very mischievous lemon slicer after me. Well, this is creative. I like callbacks. Alright. Oh, another? Now for the, now for the penultimate boss. We got this and one more final fight. By the way, this is this this is Krako. Is this the only time we see Krako in the game? Yeah, he. I mean, uh, I don't know why he's not his own boss, but I figured they would be more fun to have an artist do uh, five bosses in one. Because after this, we got one more level. That's it. What? 
Yep. Well, I meant like one more world of six more stages, but... And oh, then that's it. Th that's what I mean. That game's almost over? Yeah, game's almost over. <laughs> that weren't nothing. Aha! Well, that... Oh, the game's almost over. I know. Mm -hmm. but, don't, but don't worry, you won't have to wait three years for the next Kirby game, because it's just... It's Kirby 64 is going to be right after this. Oh, cool. Once I uh, take this guy, come on. Mm. Ah, all right. I don't want to lose it. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Over here on the right, suck in and get two of them. And that and should. Whoa, yeah. you've got to be kidding. All right, fine. We'll play that. We'll play that way. Ah, uh, land, land. There yeah, we go. there you go. And now, she's just... <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Eh. I don't think she's going on... Yeah, she's just... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So... Yeah, well, uh... Wait, where are you going? Oh! Whoa! God! Uh... Jeez, Kirby! See, and, and it's messed up because we, we don't ever see the artist known as Otto again. It's always Adelaine. From here on out, it's Adelaine. So she just blew up. I think we just murdered another, another human being. Well, I mean, you were going for the genocide route of Kirby's Dream Land 3, right? <laughs> Oh, she was so young, and now she's dead. She was so promised. Yeah, so much talent. Kirby, why? All right, one little tiny nub left, and one stage left, one level where it's next time on Kirby's Dream Collection, Dreamland Three. Bye. <laughs>